Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you those beautiful uh, kind of notebook, passport, pen and credit cards holders. Uh, summer is coming really fast and we will travel a little bit more. We will go on trips, on holidays and I do believe that something like this will be very useful to have. It's made from one sheet, 12 by 12. We have here a slot where you can fit your passport. We have here four slots where you can add your credit card. This is made in the size of credit cards and we have two here and two here. And you do have a slot where you can slide small uh, mini notepad. You can make this one yourself or you can buy one. And it's made, as I said, from one sheet, 12 by 12. And you can also have pen holder here on the spine. Or if you don't want to have a pen holder, you can have pocket in the back, uh, on the back cover. And same as before inside. It's very easy to make. I promise you, it's very easy to make. And as I said, you need only one sheet, 12 by 12. Uh, on some of them I did use my sewing machine just for making that cute little, you know, that, that additional uh, embellishment kind of ish. It work, worked also to hold it together, but here I created one using just a glue and it's amazing as well. It's very useful and it's very easy to put it together. So I'm going to show you how you can make it. So for making these cute booklets or holders, you need one sheet 12 by 12 and I will show you a few uh, different styles, how you can uh, how you can make it with that pocket uh, on that back side or with that uh, pen holder here on the spine. We're going to start with this simple one, which has all these slots inside. All these slots, slots inside uh, for passport, for notebook, for cards, and plus that pocket behind uh, on that back side. And you can make it with closure or without closure. And then uh, on different scoring board and with different paper, I will show you with that paper holder. So sheet 12 by 12 and here i would like to show you how you can uh, how you should cut it uh, if you do have pattern with writing and you would like to have that writing uh, the way where you can actually read it that it will be this way not that way so grab your paper and cut it on half here Cut it on two pieces, six by twelve inches. Like this. So this will be my front cover. This will be my back cover. And I'm going to flip it this way to prepare it for scoring. Scoring is the same for both uh, pieces. So we're going to score. Now I will show you in inches in that next part uh, in that uh, with that pen holder. I will explain it also in centimeters. So in inches score lines are two and a half inch. Six inches. Nine and three quarter and ten and a half. That's front cover. And now I'm gonna take the part which piece which will make my back cover. And as I said, I flip it that way. And I'm gonna score again, same score lines two and a half, six, nine and three quarter. And ten and a half. So I do have my two pieces, front cover, 
this is that back cover i'm gonna flip it again uh, the right way to make sure my writing is uh, is the, <laughs> the right position and we're gonna fold this first fold will go up that next score line will go down and here we have two score lines which will create the spine of that holder that's the front cover back cover this we will start from this side and it will be same like before from this side so this will go up that other one go down and here we have those two score lines which will create our spine now when you will take those two pieces and you will place them together it will create your booklet so here i do have that back cover here i do have that front cover first what i would like to do uh, i'm gonna be using here you can also fold it you know the other way so at, at that moment your front cover will be back cover and your back cover will be front cover if you would like to keep you know it depends on what you would like to keep on the top of your paper and i will keep it this way and of course how your paper uh, how is quality of your paper because not every papers can be folded either way so here i'm gonna be using only glue i'm not gonna be using sewing machine that i will show you in that next part i just want to show you that it can be done even without sewing machine with sewing machine you will have there a little bit more <clears throat> decorative element but it's not necessary so i'm gonna take here a ruler and pencil and on both those pieces inside i will mark where is the middle so because this is six inches i'm gonna mark here three inches i'm gonna just draw simple line i'm gonna put there glue i'm gonna fold it this way here we have a spine okay so i'm gonna put glue on those three inches i just created if my glue will actually go oh come on oops we are here so here in the middle then on this side and on this side and we are creating here those slots for credit cards fold it that way and let it dry do same on your back cover so i'm gonna mark where is the middle three inches here here and i can draw a simple line right here i'm gonna put their glue you can draw there that line because it will be invisible so grab your pencil and help yourself with those lines it's always better to put the glue on the right spot and we need to let it dry once your pieces are glued and they are holding nicely you're gonna glue this part to that front cover and here we do have that spine so put a glue here now you are creating holder for notepad or that uh, notebook and fold it down let it dry you can clip it together and let glue sit down do same on that back cover put a glue on that flap where we just created slots for credit cards put a glue here and on the bottom fold it over and let it dry here we do have that spine of our holder so 
so now you do have two pieces like this front cover back cover and what you're gonna do take your front cover and where there is a spine put there a glue take your back cover fold this uh, first flap here we have those two score lines and place it here on the spine from the front cover press it nicely i'm gonna use bone folder and make sure that glue will go on all that spot all that space and let it dry before you will do anything else just make sure it will dry nicely so once it's dry you should have something like this front cover back cover one flap here one flap here we're gonna take a glue and put a glue here on these two flaps or two flaps two ends not two flaps two sides and fold this down and let it dry you just created that back cover pocket and with this i'm gonna fold this edge to the edge of this entry here so i'm gonna fold it this way like this take your bone folder just press it down put a glue here on on that space you just fold it and glue it down with this you are reinforcing the spine of this holder and you are also creating something like closure <clears throat> For this pocket here where there will be your passport so you can kind of like cover it with that closure with this flap it can be kind of ish hidden then just take some notepad and you can slide it here you can take your credit cards and place them to those slots and of course take your passport and put your passport to that slot here and you do have your simple holder done uh, i like to kind of fold the spine to press it all together to make it more i don't know it's more friendly <laughs> it's more soft and and cute so you do have your super easy holder for notepad for credit cards and here is that spot where you can slide your uh, passport and i'm gonna show you also how to score it in centimeters i will add those uh, sewing embellishments and also show you how you can create the spine pen holder and now i'm going to show you how to score uh, in centimeters and i will also show you uh, how to create that pen holder for that uh, i'm using this new scoring board this is my son's scoring board because my son felt in love with scrapbooking and he's a really great student i have to say he is learning so fast most of of things which i learned through the years he is catching really very fast way so hopefully soon you will see some of his creations this this is his scoring board and it's in centimeters and score lines are going from this left side so i'm gonna show you how to do this uh, holder using centimeters with scoring from this side 
Again, you will start with 12 by 12 sheet and you will cut it on two pieces, 15.24 uh, centimeters by 30 centimeters and again 15.24 centimeters by 30 centimeters <laughs> 30 and something 30 and half sorry <laughs> i do not use to say that in centimeters that will be a little bit confusing so take one of your piece which will be for the aha uh -huh. Here I should explain also if you will have some paper with pattern. So maybe it will be good if I will take the paper with the pattern uh, which supposed to be read with some writing because this pattern you can put any way you want and it's very easy to work with pattern like this. Uh, there is no matter how you will put it. So I'm gonna grab different sheet where is some writing to show you exactly what to do. So I'm going to be using this paper, which has beautiful hearts from one side and stripes from the other side. Uh, I would like to concentrate on this side where the hearts are going. This is the top of the, the heart and here is the bottom. So top of the paper it's here, bottom of the paper it's here. And I'm going to cut it on two pieces here in the middle because I would like those hearts in that holder to go this way, the right way, not this way. Or upside down so I'm gonna cut it here to top cover and bottom cover so I do have my two pieces this is the top of my paper this is the bottom of my paper because they are both same uh, it doesn't matter which one I'm gonna use for front cover which one I'm gonna use for back cover but if you do have some pattern which you would like to have on the front cover this will be my front cover when I will score the back cover, I will again flip it this way, upside down. So first we're going to score front cover. And because I'm going to be scoring from this side, I'm going to kind of swap those score lines. So first score line will be three and a half centimeters. Next score line will be five and a half centimeters. Next score line will be 15.24 centimeters right here in the middle. And last score line will be 24 centimeters. Right here. I'm gonna take that back cover and as I said, I'm gonna flip it upside down and do exactly the same. Three and a half five and a half, 15.24 and 24. That's all score lines you need. Now this is my front cover, this is the back cover. And here, I think I would like to have this one uh, this one on the top actually if I will fold it this way on the top I will have those hearts and I don't like it mm, I should think about it before I score I'm gonna try to do it this way oh I like it much more <laughs> so I'm gonna just swap my papers what I scored for back cover I'm gonna use for front cover and what I scored for front cover, I'm going to be using for back cover. So here you can see that it works either way, especially if you don't have some specialty paper with writing, you can swap it very easily. <laughs> so first, uh, before I will do anything else, I'm going to be using my sewing machine and I'm going to adhere zigzag stitching on this side. And on this side, on both of these pieces, just on those short sides, zigzag stitching. So I added uh, zigzag stitching, I'm going to show you here, zigzag stitching to those short sides on both pieces. Uh, now I'm going to take the pencil and the ruler and I will mark, uh, because I will use the 
sewing machine for creating the middle uh, I'm gonna draw a line here on the top so this is my front cover it will be folded this way and here I will create two slots for credit cards so I'm gonna find the middle of this spot which is seven and a half so it's seven and a half seven and a half and I'm gonna draw a line and same I will create on that back cover and in that spot I will sew a line uh, with my sewing machine so I do have sewing done I do have uh, sewn that middle on both pieces and now uh, before I will sew these pieces all together all around uh, I would like to add that the closure for my uh, for my booklet and I will also show you on that previous one uh, if you will forget to add that the closure it is possible to do it after you have all done like this to add that the closure which I used on those booklets this one it's very easy to do here I will add it uh, to the pieces itself before I will add it uh, before I will put it together that holder so for the closure you need uh, about how much it can be 17 inches I'm guessing 15 17 inches of some string here I do have uh, two inches uh, large circle here I do have one inch large large circle with the hole in the middle where I will place eyelet so before I will do anything else I'm gonna fold this two inches circle it doesn't have to be two inches it can be uh, not even circle it can be square it can be rectangle anything you want and here it's the front cover of my booklet and I'm gonna glue this right here somewhere in the middle so I'm gonna take a glue put a glue on my small part and glue it somewhere here I'm guessing over the edge I found those inches exactly that it's going right to those pockets here I can even slide it a little bit behind those pockets to make sure it will be not in the way to my credit cards like this and let it dry once that circle is holding on the right spot take your small circle and place it if you will you will have it this way so place your circle on the spot where you would like to see it I think here it will be okay mark the position where you should punch the hole and punch the hole here like this so I did punch the hole here now grab the circle eyelet and string put the string through to that hole hold it from back side take your eyelet and circle and place it all together and fix like this here I can cut that string because I don't need that big and now it's time to sew these pieces together so I'm gonna take my sewing machine and I'm gonna fold these uh, prepared slots for my credit card this way and with my sewing machine I'm gonna make a zigzag stitching here 
and here or if you want you can make zigzag stitching all around uh, if you don't have this circle too close to the edge but because I do have here that circle very close to that edge I'm gonna be make zigzag stitching here and here on the back cover it will be same I'm just gonna fold these two slots here we have that uh, spine and with my sewing machine I'm gonna make zigzag stitching here that way I will hold these two sides together so his zigzag stitching here and zigzag stitching here when this is folded so I do have my pieces sewn I do have slot here two slots here that will be front cover there is that spine and I do have back cover large slot here and two small pockets one here one here and of course that spine so now what we're gonna do here between those two score lines i'm gonna add there the glue again and it will be same like before exactly same steps we're gonna glue these pieces together and then fold exactly same that inside fold so now grab your back cover fold this first fold and make a right position just right here to make sure you can see the score line over there and glue those two pieces together try if you can fold this one Press it together and let it dry. I'm gonna try if I good. I am on the right spot, so I'm gonna let it dry. So once the spine are glued together, I'm gonna fold again this inside piece, not this way, but you know that that edge I'm gonna fold to that front uh, pocket same like before burnish that fold I'm gonna add the glue here on that fold and glue it down like this So this will create the smaller spine for the notepad which will be here and also that kind of like a uh, flap for the pocket for passport over there here it is there it's just <laughs> too tight right now <laughs> sit down so once that inside flap is folded and glued flip it over so you can see your cover from outside here is that last flap and that uh, this last flap we will use for uh, making pen holder you can take a pen pencil and just roll it to that paper or if you do have some uh, stick this is for uh, drums so I do have one which is kind of like broken and I'm keeping it here exactly for craft like this where I need to roll paper over something so stick like this is very useful so I'm gonna roll it first to give it that shape if you do have a pen just do it same put your pen inside and roll your paper around the pen then grab your glue and put the glue on the edge of your paper like this I'm gonna take my stick and nicely fold it right here and I hope I will be able to show you uh, hopefully you can see where the 
score line of that fold is 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 here where it's kind of like ending the spine of my booklet or that holder so I'm gonna hold that stick in there and let that glue dry if you do have a pen inside just hold it there and let it dry properly to make sure all this will nicely hold together so I'm gonna let that dry and meanwhile I'm gonna also show you if you already do have your uh, holder done and you maybe want to add there the closure or you forget to add there the closure and you want to add it there now once it's done uh, again I do have two inches circle again I folded that circle and I found the position for that small circle draw the, the circle and <laughs> punch that hole I did all steps like before uh, I do have this string here so first I'm gonna add the string to that circle that large one I'm gonna take that small circle and we're gonna circle in here and I'm gonna slide that eyelet place it together and fix this all together I'm using a kind of nice a heavy paper or it's more like cardstock for this it will be good if you will have good cardstock which uh, you will be sure it will hold properly I'm gonna use here players and kind of press it all together to make sure it's nice and flat lift that circle straight away to make it prepared so there will be minimum of you know the danger that you will rip it off now I'm gonna take the glue and I'm just gonna glue it over the edge of that book that's it it's very easy to add it just make sure you have a good quality paper which will hold that eyelet with the string I do have a glue <clears throat> and I'm just gonna fold it over the edge of my holder and hold it there till the glue will dry properly and will hold properly here I'm gonna press it quite a lot a few times to make sure that even glue around that eyelet will get stuck and glued properly that there will be no any bubble you know to make sure that this will hold nicely and it's very easy to add it there and then I'm gonna just clip it and let it dry I think that first one it's already dry so once your pen holder it's dry and glued just grab your pen slide it in there grab your notepad place your notepad in the, in the holder grab your uh, passport and slide it in there grab your credit card and you do have your beautiful holiday holder for your notepad documents and stuff you would like to hold in there and it's I hope it's very easy to do and you can have many styles many different colors uh, you can create uh, you can decorate it the way you want you can add their laces add there anything you want make it personal you can add there some names and give it to to someone who you like to give something you made so this is my sharing for today uh, i hope you found some inspiration i hope you will try this easy amazing holder because it does have so many pockets uh, it can hold beautiful notebook uh, it can hold your documents and it can be amazing traveling uh, thingy which you can take with you this is my sharing for today thank you so so much for spending your time with me today thank you so much for visiting me have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye